We thought it would be fun to come up here and share a few of our favorite wit stories, and let's be honest, we have no shortage of that in our arsenal. <laughs> but we were told we had to keep it PG tonight. So, with that, we've got absolutely nothing. Everybody have a great night. Enjoy yourselves, and we're out. not wait for her, just wait for her to text you. Or some of us here like to call him, Big Nasty. <laughs> Who's this one for? That's for Sebi. What does it say? Wow. Luna. You like it? Luna, what do you say? Thank you. Thanks, me. You're welcome. Thanks, me. Thanks, me. <gasps> Let me see. Thank you. And you saw each other across the room at the bourbon. <laughs> and Carissa, she decided to make the first move. <laughs> After that night, Chrissy, you went to Montreal for a few weeks, but the two of you, you texted the entire time that you were away. And once back, you started hanging out. You know, despite all the time and all the texts they had between each other, Chrissy, she just wasn't sure what to call this relationship or if it was a relationship. So after a few months of seeing each other, Krissa decided to have the conversation. <laughs> it was time to find out if you were official. So it turns out that Tyler had been calling Krissa his girlfriend for months. <laughs> One day was a windy day and Tyler, you know, didn't have a lot of meat on his bones. And so he gets into his full pitching stroke. A wind comes up, knocks Tyler right over. <laughs> Tyler's always been, and you've heard it tonight, he's always been a caring, thoughtful son. He understands the best things in life don't come easy and is willing to work hard for them. He's always had a kind word for others, even at an early age. He's always attracted great friends and people in his life, evident by the table he sits at. <laughs> so first off, Cece, there are not enough words to describe how much I love you and you look beautiful today. This has been the most beautiful day and you deserve every bit of it. My dad would already be gone for work, so it was up to mom and I to interrupt the queen from her beauty sleep and deal with the grumpiness. The lights would get flicked on and off, I would shake her, I'd jump in the bed, do more annoying stuff just to try and get her out of bed. And when we finally did, the car ride to school would just rub salt in the wounds. As the younger sibling, I didn't have a choice. Back seat, every ride. <laughs> Today, I believe that we are celebrating the best of what it means to be human, and that's to love each other. And each of you joining us here today was invited to share this moment with Chris and Tyler because you mean so much to them and have in some way contributed to their lives and their relationship. So, Carissa and Tyler, I want you to take a moment to look at your people. Look around this space, at your friends, at your family. They have rallied around you, they've believed in you, and they love you. Carissa spent countless hours on a swing my dad built for her on his cherry tree. It was simple, fun, and created the best memories for her. And I knew that they were smiling down on her today. Carissa and Uncle Chuck spent many happy hours together. They would build the best forts and have the best time. Young Carissa was also his personal hairstylist. <laughs> oh my God, oh my so beautiful. Thank you. That sweater absolutely wrecked me this I'm morning. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't know what you were gonna say in yours. <laughs> You look amazing. Thank you. So do you. Okay. <laughs> I was crying so much. Oh really? Yeah. I'm so like, sorry. Like all morning, I was like, oh no, I'm in trouble. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you. Like I love dress. your dress. I you love like it. it. Yeah, I love it. And your flowers. Thank you. Tyler, I could have never imagined that the best gift of my life would come for my 20th birthday. 
I still remember seeing you for the first time. You were tall and handsome, wearing your signature flannel and a backwards hat. <laughs> And when I spotted you from across the room, I felt like you were someone I needed to know. And it's not just because I was looking for a cute boy to buy me drinks on my birthday. <laughs> it feels like a moment ago we were hanging out in your basement, napping, watching Breaking Bad, and suddenly we blinked, and here we are 10 years later. Looking back at some of our group photos, it's crazy to see how far you guys have come. We were just babies when you guys met, and here we're celebrating your beautiful day wedding. I still remember telling him after the early days when I picked him up from her house and I said to him, you're going to marry this girl, aren't you? Well, here we are today. I am so happy Tyler has found his person. I know you will take care of him and always have his back. And I cannot wait for the beautiful family that you will have together, especially if your genes are the dominant ones. I feel grateful beyond measure standing up here today, marrying my best friend and soulmate. Writing our story for the past decade has been the best time of my life. You've already blessed me with a lifetime of joy and adventure-filled memories, and I know our journey is just beginning. I've been captivated by your light since the moment we met, a light I see shining brighter than ever today. I love you because you make me feel like I can do anything. You always see the best in me, even in times when I struggle to see it myself. Your faith and our love and our future has given me the strength and courage to chase our dreams and to be the best version of me. I've had the absolute pleasure of watching <laughs> grow <laughs> from a self-proclaimed stay-at-home son <laughs> into the incredible, kind, hardworking man I see in front of me today. With you, I've learned the true meaning of partnership, and I am forever grateful for the love and light you bring into my life. From running around Notre Dame's halls, falling in love with North Van Boys together, and multiple weekends away, we truly have a treasure trove of unforgettable memories. You may now kiss. I know if Uncle Chuck was here tonight, he would be the first to say, Chicky Boo, let's get on that dance floor and get this party started. I could see how genuine she is and I could feel her kindness and I knew that her kind heart would be an equal match to my son's kind heart and I hope in return you all know and can trust that we love Curtis. Long and happy lives. Awkwardly. Yeah, it's just standing up. I think that's what a wedding is. <laughs> yeah. If I've learned anything today. Are you too hot or are you good? Oh, I'm too hot. Yeah. No, it's okay though. Okay. Yeah. 